grab your remotes. Make sure you have your remotes in hand. Oh, we got our tally that you were all excited about. We got our tally you were all excited about. Very nice. Red team very fired up. All right. There you go. All right. We got some work to do, but don't worry. We got some work to be done. So let's go ahead and dig in. Let's go ahead with our first question. Let's pop this thing open for us. Round four. Here we go. Playing to my strengths means, A, my team may think I'm a little nuts. B, my team will learn to do the same. C, I'll need my team more than ever. Or D, all of the above. You have 10 seconds to answer this question. All right. What do you think the answer is? D. Ooh, I heard a couple different versions. All of the above there, D, right? Yeah, just accept, embrace your freak. You gotta embrace your freak. So that might mean some people are gonna wanna push you back towards the center, right? But it's gonna be about making sure that then they know who to follow towards that side. So let's see how the scores came out. Oh, oh, blue. Blue has decided to show up. I love it, I love it. All right, very good. Well done, folks, well done, okay. Starting to inch closer. Okay, now, time management. Interesting concept. The best way to manage my time is to A, do things I hate first to get that out of the way. Not a bad strategy. B, work on fun things first, other things when I have time. C, do only the things I like. Or D, align my actions with my energy. God bless you. So, is it A, B, C, or D? You have 10 seconds to answer your question as you consider the learning. All right, let's hear you yell out whatever your answer is. Don't be afraid to be wrong. What did you think your answer was? D. Okay, D. Oh, all right. So let's see how we did when we talk about this. <laughs> All right, so what, what we often move towards is like, when we talk about doing the things that we don't like to do first, this is, this is a different strategy. This is energy management when it comes to things that we know we need to do that are gonna have a payoff. Like for example, how many of you know that you should be working out or know that, you, you know, that working out is good for you? All right, how many of you know you need to work out more? And how many of you tend to push off working out? Okay, so like that would be an example. If I know that I'm committed to being healthy, now that might be a weakness of mine because it doesn't naturally come to me. That doesn't mean that I'm just gonna ignore it. Right? That doesn't, this wasn't the David Rendell, you know, it's, oh, you know what, I'm gonna stay, we're gonna do the fat thing. That's like my new commitment to my weirdness and my weakness. Like my weakness is fat, cool, all right, we're good with that. Like that's, if we have a commitment to being healthy, we're gonna have to do that stuff and get that done. But when it comes to Really, it's about aligning the business, aligning our responsibility with our strengths, and we're gonna get into that in just a moment. So, nice job on that. Our next question. Last question of this round. When one person's strengths support another's, they are A, complementary, B, complementary, C, effective, or D, all of the above. 10 seconds to answer your question. Beautiful. And am I finishing this round with another round? I'll come talk to you. All right, folks, let's hear you yell it out. What was it that you thought? B. Who said B? Raise your hand if you said B. Oh, boy. Let's reveal the answer. Okay, complimentary. Complimentary. This is just a little homage to my dad, the English teacher, who always wanted to remind me, complimentary with an E means something completely different. It means to complete. It means to, to create wholeness, all right? And that's what this is about. It's about aligning yourself with somebody else who creates wholeness. Where you are weak, they are strong. Where you are strong, they are weak. And I really wanna focus on this as we move forward because although David spoke to the fact that we're gonna come across people we don't like, I'll just share it with you this way. 
I get to work with Julian Scadden every day. How many of you know Julian? He was just up here. Yeah. Julian's an extraordinary human being. On the disc profile that David was talking about, Julian's here and I'm here. Personality-wise, we could not be more different, and yet we have an aligned mission. Now, it would be very easy for us to have battles on a daily basis, trust me. I barge in, when I, my brain doesn't turn on until I start talking. That is my trigger. Whereas Julian is, can be introspective, he can be thoughtful, he's in the office, he's working away, he's got his head down, he's got his jazz music on, and I might just kick the door open and just start talking because something just hit me and I wanted to get it going and I wanted to get the creativity going. And what's amazing, although I work to flex to be aware of his style, what's so beautiful about what he does is he just understands that about me. See, David talked about how within those disc profiles we'll regularly learn how to be more like the other style, less of our style, and that's true. However, what we've really managed to discover, what has been leveraged in our relationship, is the willingness and the acceptance of the other person's style. And when you get to that point, when you watch that other person operate, it becomes beautiful. There's no animosity there. We have tough conversations all the time, disagreements all the time, but it never turns to anger because there's such a mutual respect that occurs when you watch somebody else work towards their strengths. It's extraordinary to watch when you really get to the point of appreciating that. You don't have to dislike the people who compliment you with an E. You get to really admire them when you truly appreciate that what they're doing is being the best version of themselves. And we need more of that in our lives and more of that in our businesses and more of that in ourselves. So let's do some work. Let's go ahead and get our tally. See how this one finished up. Oh, 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 oh tough round, tough round. <laughs> Look at that green. All right, red team though with a strong lead here. Strong lead, but everybody's in contention right now. So well done. Now we gotta get into some deeper work. So go ahead if you would, please join me on page 20. What we are capable of carrying. Learning that we can carry more than we ever believed. Learning that others can too. And literally breaking through the limiting beliefs that have been holding us back until this point in time. We're gonna begin with a little competition. Y'all ready to play your game? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Blue team, you ready to play your game? Yeah. You ready for me to stop picking on you today? Yeah. Oh, a little bit maybe? All right, let's do this thing. So here's how this is gonna work. We got a little game called Captains on Stage. And what we're gonna need is we're gonna need two captains from each team to come up and represent their teams. Now you're also gonna be voting at your seats, but we're gonna need two captains who are ready to come up and represent their colors. And so as we do this, know this, we're going double points this morning, all right? So the captains on stage, their answers, when correct, will be worth 200, all right? And you all will be voting again with your percentages. So what I need is two captains from each color to take a stand. Who's gonna do it? All right, I got it, got it. Come on up right here. We got one right here. I got two from Team Red. I got one from Team Blue. Who's, this, who's coming up with them? Come on now. Come on now. And Team Green, what you got over here? Let's go. Let's go. Who's got it? Oh, all right. Call, there we go. We got one more. And we got two. Let's welcome these captains to the stand. Very nice. Very nice. Nope, you're good. How's the dinner? Nice, nice, nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So welcome up. So here's how this is going to work. As we ask the questions, the audience is to vote first. You guys are to vote first. So you guys need to understand me very carefully. You are not to lift up your answer until I give you the cue. You can discuss it amongst each other, but you're not to lift up your answers until I give you the cue. The audience needs to vote first. So only after the 10 seconds are done will you guys have the opportunity to go ahead and show us your answers, okay? Great. All right, very good. So, with that, you guys ready to begin? Yeah. Everyone got their remotes in hand? Yeah. Yes? 
Go ahead and hold them up. Beautiful. All right. Let's bring up our first question. Oh, all right. What makes us blank? Makes us blank. The answers are A, angry and irritable. It's kind of undeniable. B, different and unique. C, weird and wonderful. Or D, happy and helpful. You have 10 seconds to come up with your best answer. You are able to. You guys go ahead and discuss, discuss, discuss as you need to. You got it? Beautiful. All right, the scores are in. Blue team, your answer is, go ahead and hold it up. C, got it. All right, red team, C as well, and green team. All right, we got a C as well. Let's see how we did. Let's go ahead and C, of course, is the correct answer. Well done. So we got the full 200 from our team captains, and let's see how the crowd did. On stage, they all hold them up at the same time. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's just so good. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, again, that's now in the past, okay? We have a chance to move on. That is the past that is behind us. It's double point time. Let's move on to our next question, very good. All right, next question, next question. The defining word from David Rendell's time was A, weird, B, freak, C, wonderful, or D, leadership. 10 seconds to answer your questions. You, up on stage, reserve your answers. Come on, Blue, you give up on me, come on. Come on. <laughs> No, no, no. All right, <laughs> appreciate that inspiration. By the way, this time, we're gonna have you all hold up your answer at the same time on the count of three. All right, so, you guys ready to go? One, two, three, hold them up for us. Okay, we got straight Bs. Let's see if we can one time, one time, let's see how we do here. All right, and let's see how our crowd did. Obviously, our answer was indeed B, Freak. Full 200 points to the captains, well done representing, and our group. Oh! <laughs> oh, we're proud of you guys, we're proud of you. All right. <laughs> guys, if we, had, if we had a month to play this game, you would catch up at this pace, I want you to know that. All right, all right, very good. Question number three, let's go ahead. All right, let's see how close you were listening. How tall is David Rendell? How tall is David Rendell? Is he A, six foot five, B, six foot nine, C, six foot six, or D, six, eight and three quarters? You have 10 seconds to answer the question. Team captains, be ready with your placard. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, Brock Kelly, well done. All right. <laughs> and the answer, of course, let's hear it from our captains. Go ahead, hold up your sign, count of three. You got it, one, two, three, there we are. Okay, C was our answer from captains on stage. The crowd likes it. Let's go ahead and proceed. It was, in fact, six foot six. Again, your captains represent flawlessly. How'd the crowd do? <laughs> Perhaps. 
perhaps distracted by the death crawl. It's, it's, a, it's a possibility. It was inspirational, though. I want you to know that. I want you to know that. They pressed the buttons harder than they did before. Even if the wrong button, they pressed it harder. All right? Good. Let's go ahead and proceed now with our next question. So one thing that is always true about your dream, A, I am doing it. B, it is possible. C, it's happening. Or D, it's plausible. Les Brown would tell us one thing that is always true about your dream. 10 seconds to answer your question. All right, captains, on the count of three. One, two, three. We have a C, we have a B, and a... Okay, so we have a C for blue, a B for red, and a B for green. Let's see how we did. So Colin says it's all right. He's got faith Good. that you guys are going to pick this up somehow. So Absolutely. interesting. Because what's one thing that's always true about your dream? It's possible. It's possible. Very good. So we're going we're gonna to remain hopeful here. Right now, it's <laughs> all right. And so let's see how our team's represented out there. Go ahead. OK. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Here we go. To our next question. We got a couple more here. Let's dig in. Find it. Dig deep. Now, we're going to go to a little bit of what's possible. All right. So, what is the world record for someone to stay awake? 264 hours. B, 112 hours, C, 399 hours, or D, 198 hours. What is the world record for someone to stay awake continuously? What do you think? You have 10 seconds to register your best guess. All right. As we transition over to what's possible. Captains, show us your cards. One, two, three. All right, we have A's across the board. So everybody said A. The answer was A. Let's go ahead and reveal the world record for longest time awake was, in fact, a, 264 hours. Well done, captains. Let's see if your teams were able to back you up. Big showing from Red right there. All right. Extending their lead, impressive. Impressive. All right, people who are into the possibility the possibility. Let's go to our next question. A beautifully relevant question. What is the longest distance paddled nonstop on a stand-up paddle board? Is it A, 109.4 miles, B, 38.8 miles, C, 88.5 miles, or D, 90.7 miles, all of which seem preposterous, but nevertheless, one is the correct answer. What is the longest distance paddled nonstop on a stand-up paddle board? 10 seconds to answer your question. Captains. On the count of three, one, two, three. Show us your answers. Okay, we have 
Blue team with a C, red team with a D, and the green team with a C for an answer. We need this, I'm hearing Colin say. We need this as a possible differentiator. Correct answer is D. 90.7 miles. Extraordinary. Let's see how the crowd did. All right, blue team came in strong, green team came in strong. So I want to just, I want to just share with you, we're getting, we're getting calls of people being on their phone up here. I don't believe I set any ground rules that you couldn't be on your phone, so I'm just saying. You, that's, Les, Brown, Les Brown says you have to be resourceful, folks. He says you have to be resourceful. All right, hungry. All right. So let's go ahead and see our totals, where are we at? We're good, and our next question. Love this, last question. Last question, Elaine Damption, this one's for you. No, Elaine Damption's been messing around with some ice baths lately. The person who holds the world record for longest ice bath is A, Jack Tester. <laughs> I'll explain the coloring. B, Gordon Austin. C, Wim Hof, Wim Hof, excuse me, or D, Guy Man. You have 10 seconds to answer your question. All right, let's go ahead. Captains, on the count of three, reveal your answers for us. One, two, three. We got B, C, and D. So, blue said B, red said C, and green said D. Green, I appreciate the shout out to my fourth grade classmate, Guy Mann. However, the correct answer is C, Wim Ha. Well done, red team, really pulling away here. And let's see how your crowd did supporting you. Okay, okay, all right. And so there you see our standing game totals, all right? So this is the deal. First of all, let's go ahead and thank our captains on stage who came up and took a stand. Well done. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Very well done. Thank you very much. Yes, you are welcome to head back to your seats. Well done. Blau. Blau. Love it. All right. And so, as we think about these review and cap from yesterday, and we start to move towards and transition into today, today is truly about what's possible within humanity, about pushing our limits, about discovering that our beliefs have been creating a cap that our body does not know. Our next speaker came to us via one of our members who took it upon himself to reach out because he knew that this person would be extraordinary for our audience. Guys, we have a game we need to finish. We got a game we need to finish. Is anybody going to win this game? Pick up your controllers. Pick up your controllers. Pick up your controllers. Pick them up. All right. Let us waste no time. This will tell us exactly what's going on. Blue team, by the way, I would just pick up every controller that's available to you. Every controller that's available to you. All right. Let us begin. Question number one. I'm excited. The anticipation is. Mm. This is how you do it right here. That's it. All right. Are we to be ruled by the blank of success rather than the blank of failure? 
Is it A, hope and fear? B, achievement or disappointment? C, pleasure, pleasure and pain? Or D, smell and stench? All excellent answers. What is the best answer? You have 10 seconds to answer this question. Let's hear you, what'd you say? A. A, we say. Answer is? A. A, very good. Now, this is a fun part, by the way. Triple points this round. Triple points this round, and you don't get to find out how you did till the end of the round. Oh, what's up? All right, let's do it. Question number two. We thinking can be described as A, pushing each other harder, B, blaming each other for failure, C, eliminating weak links, interesting, D, suffering equally. Go ahead and answer that question which you feel is the best answer. What do you think? D we like, okay, the answer is D, of course, suffering equally, a beautiful thought, really, when you get down to it. We find out how you did, next question, next question, we find out how you did at the end. The aluminum can theory postulates that A, people can be crushed, B, it doesn't have to be heavy to be valuable, C, thin-skinned people are a liability. D, criticism stays in the team environment forever. Hmm. This is Robin Benincasa's aluminum can theory. You brilliant people have decided what? D, interesting, D, and the correct answer would be well done, well done, well done. Woo, tough questions. Next question. The four P's of total commitment are planning, purpose, perseverance, preparation. B, planning, perseverance, persistence, purpose. C, purpose, perseverance, persistence, passion. Or D, planning, passion, persistence, and preparation. This is a tough question. You have 10 seconds to answer it correctly. Is it A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer, what do you think? A. A, okay, well done. Very good. Next question. Keep this rolling, you guys are doing great. The next star staffing model will not, is it A, help me range my team, B, show me how the workload is currently distributed, C, assist in planning for new staff, or is it D, automatically arrange people by their strengths? What do you think? You have 10 seconds to answer the question correctly. What's that? If we could pull D out, you think it's D? What do you think? D? Correct answer is? D. Well done. I love you if you were listening to me say that literally three minutes ago, so that would be awesome. That would be awesome. These things help. Last question. Every person on the team should carry, is it A, an equal amount, B, what they can, C, a little more, or D, as little as possible? 10 seconds to answer your question. And you decided? 
B, what they can is the correct answer. Very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, that was your final question, which means it's time to find out how we fared in this powerful triple point round. Did blue team make it up? Did red team hold on? Where's the green team gonna finish? Oh boy, oh, 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 not quite enough points. Not quite enough points to be able to come back. But blue, how about that finish? Let's hear it for blue team. Green team, we love your steadiness, man. You guys were consistent throughout. Well done, green team. Let's hear it for you. Red team, we want to commend you because you guys took an early lead and you held on to it. Really well done. Way to stay focused, way to drive. Nice finish. So here's the deal, we weren't kidding you. There's some pretty amazing prizes. Can I go ahead and get the slide up for what our prize is gonna be? So, not quite the super meeting slide. So, with that, here's what's gonna happen. San Diego super meeting, the 28th to the 30th. Lovely destination, Mary Jean. We're gonna come see you out there in San Diego, okay. All right, love it. And uh, here's the deal. Right now, we're about to give away five free registrations to Super Meeting, all right? Now, everybody, especially with that comeback, did an exceptional job. So the blue team and green team are gonna have one drawing at random. Red team, you're gonna have three. All right, that's what you get, that's what you deserve because you won this thing. And so here's how it works. I need you to go ahead and pick up your controller. All right. On the back of your controller, you're gonna see a number. And your number is about to be drawn at random. Is it coming from here or here? It's coming from, coming from backstage. Blue, so blue team, you're up first. Blue, the winning number. Is 56, who's got blue 56? You got, that's, the, that's literally the celebration we got from you for that? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice, come on up. Come on up, just stand by the stage for a moment. Very nice, good, 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 okay. So, blue, that was your victory, well done. All right, next, green team. One sixty four. Woo! Kevin Perry, come on up, man. Very nice. And now, red team, we got three drawings. So hold on to your paddles, hold on to your controllers. Red fifteen. I love it. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, Tony. Yes. Who's red three? It's possible. It's, you got it? Okay, so Robin. <laughs> Robin, I'll tell you what, we're gonna let you come for free anyway. Let's draw another. All right, Robin's on our staff. Robin's on our staff, as you know, so let's draw another one. We may go through a couple, it's okay. Keeps the excitement going. Red 88, who's got it? No one holding it, let's, no one holding it? Let's run another, that's okay. Let's run another. We got it, there's a few extras, so that might happen. Go ahead and shuffle them up again backstage. All right, I love it. Red 91, Red 91, well done. All right, and for our final free registration to what will be a phenomenal meeting in San Diego. Who's red 95? Yes! Yeah? Love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey guys, wow.
come on up on stage. Let's hear for our winners. This is awesome. I'm actually originally at Green. I was That's OK. You're good, brother. Right. Very good, very good, very good. You. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. Wow, love it. Go ahead, one more round of applause for these folks right here. All right, now this is what I want to hear. You see what we're doing here with our meetings, right? You see what we're driving towards. You see that we're relentless in just taking these things up another notch. How many of you are going to come see us in San Diego? Say, I will. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, and you guys get to go for free. All right, can't wait to see you there, guys. Thank you very much. Head back to your seats. Thank you very much. Well done.